Hey, are you trying to find your Google subscriptions? You want to manage them, maybe you want to add to them, maybe you want to cancel some things, and you're not quite sure where to find those on your phone or on your computer. I'm going to show you that in this video, and that video is going to start right now. Hey everybody, my name is Sean Seymour, and on my channel I do a lot of how to's like how to do photography and how to do things in the tech world usually they're little hidden things that are hard to find and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can find your Google subscriptions so that you can manage those subscriptions maybe you want to add two of them maybe you want to cancel some things maybe you want to suspend some things either way I'm gonna show you where those are located on your phone and also how you can find those on your computer and that video is going to start it's already started you're right okay the quickest way that I found to do this is to actually go on a browser so if you have an iPhone and you're using Safari Chrome Firefox or Opera by the way you can check out my video right over here I think <laughs> You can check out my video about how to switch your default browser if you want to use Chrome, Firefox, or Opera because Safari comes pre-installed on iPhones. So why don't we hop on the phone first. I'll show you how to locate that in a browser and then we're gonna do the same thing on the computer. Now, something you might find confusing is when you open your Chrome browser, and there's a reason why I do this from a browser because I feel like it's a little bit clearer than trying to do it through your avatar picture or your profile picture. But you notice that I don't have any tabs open except, except this one. So if I click on my profile picture, what I get is a bunch of settings for Chrome and I don't really want that. So what I need to do is just go to the search field and search for anything. I'm gonna search for google.com. Now if I click on my profile picture, you'll notice that it tries to go to my account. And right underneath my picture, is manage your Google account. I can click on that and that will take me right to the page that I wanna to get to. But let me show you a different way to do it that's using a browser because that way is more generic than trying to get here and know whether or not your profile picture is gonna work or your profile picture is going to take you to your Chrome settings for your phone. So what I'm gonna do, and you can do this in any browser, is go ahead and type in Google and click on google.com and you'll notice that google.com comes up and on my particular browser it's right at the top now if you're using safari you may have to scroll down just a little bit but you see where it says google account i'm going to go ahead and click on account and i'm not sure why they make you go through all of this but let's in the top right hand corner click on go to google account and now you'll see that i'm at my google account if i look at this page especially up at the top all i see is home personal info data and privacy security if i scroll down i see the same thing i don't see anywhere on here where it says subscriptions or payments or something along those lines but check it out take your finger and scroll to the left you see where it says people and sharing and the very last thing on there is payments and subscriptions why they put this in a hidden area i don't know but guess what we figured it out click on payments and subscriptions you'll notice that you have payment methods manage your experience purchases and again very very bottom almost very bottom is subscriptions now i subscribe to disney plus which i'm going to cancel and i subscribe to youtube tv one thing you should know about youtube tv is you can suspend that account so that you don't have to cancel it and re-sign up every time. So let's say for me, I watch YouTube TV more during basketball and football season. So I keep YouTube TV during those times and I suspend it. No offense to the baseball world. <laughs> I suspend it during baseball because I don't watch baseball. So anyway, there's an easy thing for you about YouTube TV. Let's say that you want to cancel a subscription. You can just quickly click on manage your subscriptions, Disney Plus, I'm going to click on that and long and behold look at that I can go ahead and I can cancel my subscription just by going down at the very bottom there and hitting cancel subscription you may not believe me that this works the same for Chrome and Safari so let's go ahead and let's bring up Safari as I mentioned I don't use Safari very much and I've actually switched it so that it's no longer my default browser so let's go ahead and search 
for Google. Okay, now there's one thing here you may run into, and that is that you're not signed into your Google account. You'll need to be signed into your Google account, and you notice that my picture is showing up in the top right hand corner. If your picture doesn't show up in the top right hand corner, what will happen, let's sign me out, and I click sign in again, you'll see that my account comes up suddenly and it's asking me if I want to sign in. So I want to go ahead and sign in. None of you guys are going to get to see my password. Okay, so now I'm signed in and my picture is showing up in the top right hand corner. One of the reasons why I suggest putting an avatar or a profile picture on your account is so you recognize when it's your account that you're actually using. Let's go ahead and type in google.com and we run into the same thing. It's Google and then down a little bit further is account. I can go to my Google account in the top right hand corner and I've got the same window. Again, notice that there's no payments or subscriptions until I scroll to the right hand side or I scroll things left. Hit on payment and subscriptions, scroll down a little bit and there we go. There's my subscriptions, so I can manage my subscriptions from here. That's the simplest way that I found to do that on a smartphone. Now, this works with Android and it works with iPhone because you're not going into a special operating system. You're actually just browsing to google.com and opening your account from there. Okay, let's put the phone down for a second. Let's hop on the computer and I'll show you how to find the same subscription area using your computer. Okay, here we are on my computer. Let me show you how to do this in Safari because it's actually super easy to do in Chrome since when you open Chrome, it automatically logs you into Google if, if you have a Google account. For those out there that want to use Safari, Firefox, or Opera and Chrome, this will work the same way. So I'm gonna use Safari. The way to do this is to go ahead and just type in google.com. Now you'll notice that Google has automatically logged me in, but if you don't automatically log in, you're gonna to have to sign in and do a two-step verification to get into your account. Since I've already logged in, you'll see that my profile picture is up here in the top right-hand corner. I can click on that profile picture and you see right here it says manage your Google account. If I click on that, we end up at this familiar screen, the same screen that we saw when we were on our iPhone, only instead of these items here on the left-hand side scrolling across the top, they're nice and easy to find on the left-hand side. So I can click on payments and subscriptions scroll down just a little bit to my subscriptions and here we go I can manage my subscriptions from here and if I want to cancel Disney I click on Disney and this is the same familiar window that we just saw when we were using our phones cancel subscription and I'm off and running okay that's one way to do it let's back out of this again real quick let's go ahead and just search for google.com and instead of it signing me in automatically, search for Google, you'll see that this search window window comes up. And over here, under google.com, you'll notice that I have the same familiar account. If I click on account, you see that I have this same window here. I'll go ahead and click on go to Google account up in the top right hand corner. And now I have this very familiar screen once again that shows me all of my options along with payment and subscriptions. Click on that, scroll down and you see subscriptions. And just like before, we can manage our subscriptions and cancel subscriptions from here. So this is the two ways fast and easy to do this with a browser on your computer. The first is to just type in google.com and log into your Google account, have your profile picture up here in the corner, click on your profile picture. The other is to just go to any browser search menu and type in Google and you will end up with this familiar looking area and you click on account, which then takes you to this one screen, go to your account and here we are. So that's how you do it on a computer, quick and fast, two ways to do it. If you know both ways, you won't get hung up on one way or the other and you'll be able to get your account very easily. Hey, well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button down below. That's the thumbs up. You can help me reach my goal of 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year just by hitting the subscribe button down in the bottom right-hand corner. It's that little icon that says subscribe. That will help me grow my channel and I will really appreciate it if you would. Also, if you want a notification the next time I release a video, you can hit the bell notification and Google will send you a notification. Hopefully, you're managing and canceling any of these subscriptions that you don't want. And until I see you on the next video, keep it simple, my friend. Swipe. Swipe, right? Oh, yeah. Mm. 
bad because it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. <sighs> and one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to locate Google subscriptions so that you can... <laughs> Are you over yourself now? Don't hear from you all day and all of a sudden you got to text me 40 times. Right when I'm shooting. Overheating. Time to go. Time to go.